see you. Very nice to see you. Wonderful to see you, Daphne. It's so many months, but before that, too many years. Indeed, far too many years. You hold a, an important art collection yourself. What is the relation between collecting and selling? Collecting is a wonderful illness. It's the most beautiful illness. It's totally incurable. And you can never stop collecting. It's an obsession because you're always obsessed by the work that you don't own yet. That haunts you for it's years It's funny that it haunts later. you more than anything. It, it is quite incredible. You have as many different collectors as you have uh, different motivations for collecting. You have, of course, collectors who follow their own instincts, their own guts. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, collectors who collect for status reasons. You have collectors who collect for investment reasons. And I remember my father-in-law saying to me, he said, you know, I said, well, what about the Chinese? He said, well, they don't, they, they look at the frame because it's not made out of solid gold. They don't really understand it. Yes, that, that's an <laughs> extraordinary uh, comment. But it was, I mean, it was, it was more than, it was more than that. But it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Yes, yeah, absolutely wonderful. I, I remember your father-in-law. He was an extraordinary he was, person. He was exactly. really, really an amazing. He person. was because he, he, he would really choose his his pieces like babies. I mean, he, he would you know have them lined up and. Do you think this is, and then he'd, he'd live with them three or four days. There was a true passion and uh, connoisseurship and feeling for and the finest. And he loved finest. them. Yes. yes, it wasn't yes. about he wasn't about having he wasn't. It, it, and when when he bought the Yoppa Casa, he um, he'd missed it the first time, so that he really wanted it the second time. It was a lot more expensive. I was uh, at the time the on the phone with the underbidder for that who missed it the second time. <laughs> so, oh, no. uh, so these these fascinating stories where I know. sometimes it's a painting that chooses its uh, oh, no. owner uh, uh, just as much as the other way around. Oh my goodness. You know, we are only guardians of these works during our lifetime uh, and we can't take them with us. So, you know, if it's a shorter time, so what? And um, it's all in our head at the end of the day. And I also think that art needs to be seen by more than one person. And it needs to have a life of its own. It's its own tra trajectory of, of, of being seen and by being collected by others. It's part of it. It accumulates. It's something. part of it, yes. I agree with you. It's like a house that is not being lived mm, in. Precisely. Uh, has a different aura than uh, a work that is really admired and, and, and loved by a lot of people.